Welcome to the channel inspired by r, r We took a road trip to New Orleans to try to find the best food they had to offer that wasn't in the popular tourist areas of French Quarter or Bourbon Street. Thanks for joining us on the adventure and don't forget to like and subscribe. Our first stop was at Barrow's Catfish, which is right off of Earhart Boulevard. We came for their lunch special of the Shrimp Po' Boy and Catfish Po' Boy. Upon arrival, we found out they were practicing social distancing, so we did have to eat in the car, but this is how it went. All right, all right, you too. Thank you. Ooh, that looked good. Right there. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, loaded catfish. Okay, so we just got our food guys they provided us with napkins utensils you just saw the food so yep. we're about to dig in and see how this stuff tastes huge we don't really have a way to cut these in half yeah it's two it's two it's two pieces Fillets. okay so i could give you one fillet and you give me some of the shrimp I'm, I'm Look, this is what the, the shrimp is looking like guys rice Oh, white yeah, yeah, rice. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that goes with this. Uh, with the gumbo. Bread feel good. Mm. That was a bite of the fish po' boy. I mean, that's really good. Mm. That, like Ronnie said, the uh, bread is really good too. It's flaky. It's real flaky. My favorite word, fresh. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is good. Mm -hmm. Traditional or staple food here in New Orleans. Yeah. I think this is a really good spot. It's, it's delicious. This catfish is good. Mm -hmm. And the shrimp is good too. Yep. Okay, let me see it. See how thin it is? I call these the thinny fries right here. Thin fries. Mm. That's good. That's good? Mm -hmm. The barbecue sauce. Yep, them barbecue sauce. They're not seasoned fries, so don't expect that but they're really good. Reminds me of the potatoes my grandma used to cut up and fry on them. Did she fry them on the stove? Or? I don't know how she cooked them, but this reminds me of those. Ronnie's not a big fan of corn anyway, but if she, so that means she likes this now. Nah. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Oh, let's see. Good. This, I'm she not really even a corn it. person, but this got a nice flavor. It's like spicy. I like that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Our next stop is District Donut Slaughter's Brew. We came here for breakfast, but they do serve lunch and they have a unique variety of beverages. The donuts are rotated daily, so what's on the menu today may not be on the menu tomorrow, but man, are they delicious. We ordered the cinnamon rolls. You guys have got to check these out. And I also got the brown butter drop. Just got it warmed up. Mm. This is really good. This is really good. It makes you smile, right, huh? <laughs> you guys, Rich talked me into getting one of these cinnamon rolls, and I was not disappointed. I'm gonna get some of this uh, cinnamon down here on mine. All right. Oh shoot! I'm gonna put it on. Oh, punch. so you gonna you gonna do a cinnamon corner, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Moment of truth. Good in it. It has cream cheese in it. Mm -hmm. The cinnamon, the sugar, it's soft and gooey on the inside. This is what you want in the cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. Hey. This is what you want. Mm -hmm. Trying to do the um the brulee. Yeah. Where they flame broil it. Yeah. Mm hmm. But it don't taste burn at all. It's perfect. Mm hmm. We didn't stop there. We also had to try their famous biscuits. We also got the hot chicken and honey butter French toast biscuit. It was so good. Y'all look at how this butter's dripping down this biscuit and this chicken. It should be a crime. So good. It's dripping out. Y'all yeah. see it's dripping. That's really good. All the different flavors. What you tasting right now? 
First of all, the biscuit is phenomenal. This biscuit was so delicious, you guys. The chicken was hot. The breading with the biscuit mixed with the French toast, it was delicious. I'm having to do a voiceover since they're playing music and we do not want to have any copyright uh, issues on YouTube, but it, it's definitely worth the trip over here. It was phenomenal. 10 out of 10, yes sir. This chicken biscuit was so amazing. The next time you guys are in New Orleans, please check them out, especially if you're not afraid to get a little messy. After driving all day sightseeing, we thought it'd be a great idea to catch a Lyft or an Uber for dinner. However, those prices were a little bit out of control, so we used Postmates to order dinner from Her That Kitchen. I had the seafood extravaganza, which is fish, shrimp, and specialty fries. Ronya had the Bourbon Street, which is chicken and macaroni. Now, considering this was delivery, it wasn't piping hot when we received it. With all of that said, it still made the list, so you know it was good. Shrimp first. That's good. Okay. Mm. It's good. That's good. Yeah, real good. It's blackened with the flavor, but not the burnt taste. You know, some black and stuff has a burnt taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's dumb. That's it's real good. good. How to fries with the I sauce? Got to fry. I don't know what the sauce is. You choose the sauce for the fries? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. All right, now. You guys, this was not the sauce for the fries. This was the potato salad, so my bad, babe. <laughs> Back again. Ronya had me dip my fry in her potato salad. <laughs> On accident. And that didn't taste too good. So that's the real this sauce. This the real sauce. She, she, yeah, she messed me up on that one. So we're going to try this again, okay, with the fry. Bit bite. Now, how's that? That's more like it. That's it? Yes. The drink I'm mm -hmm. throwing you is for, oh, the wedding, the wedding drink. Oh, the wedding punch. The wedding punch. Oh, That's what the this red wedding like. punch yep. with the white wedding cake. That's what this tastes like. It's oh, good. Okay. okay. I'm gonna try the mac and cheese first. And it looks like there's crawfish inside of it. Okay. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Got a different taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's creamy. I'm saying it's different, but it's, it's definitely good. Mm -hmm. so I think it's it may spicy. be that same same sauce that's on my fries to the bottom. That's a brace. I think so, yeah. So. That's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is good. What, what, what we rate this one? Thumbs up? I rate thumbs up too. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I'm about to eat with it. <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I told you, that's what it is in there. Mm-hmm. It's the wedding punch right there. You got a good look. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure you guys check out Hurt That Kitchen. The food was so delicious. You definitely feel like you're getting the real New Orleans flavor with this place. And you guys, you are gonna get hit with the itis. So have a bed close by so you can go ahead and lay it on down. <laughs> Our next spot was That Dog. It is a local hot dog spot, but they also have chicken, vegan, and vegetarian options. They offer a happy hour every Monday through Friday from four to 7 p.m. for $5 dogs. I'm a simple guy, so I just got a regular dog with barbecue sauce. Ronya, on the other hand, got the crawfish etouffee on chicken. If you don't eat beef or pork, this is a really great option. If you all the stuff, they said it makes sure you satisfied. Look at that. The portion size is out of control, you guys. That dog is not playing. I want this. This is the chicken dog. That's a chicken dog. Yeah, it's the etouffee, but with chicken. The etouffee dog. With the chicken out. Hey, there you go. Had to do another voiceover because they are playing some mm. copyrighted music in the background, but y'all, it was delicious. Look at this. Like everything, the flavors, the spice, everything just comes together. Oh, we got that spicy mustard. It hit you right it here. It hit you right there in your sinuses. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. I can breathe. Yeah, there you go. 
That was turning red. You guys, this burns so good. Oh my gosh, check out that dog. You will not be disappointed. And you know we couldn't come all the way to New Orleans without getting a beignet. Now you've probably heard of Cafe Du Monde or even Cafe Beignet down by Bourbon Street. But I guarantee you probably haven't heard of Antoine's famous cakes, home of the glazed beignets. Man, these things are so buttery, soft, and downright amazing. In case you're wondering, Antoine's is actually in a city called Gretna, which is about 10 minutes outside of New Orleans, just a short, a short drive over the bridge. And you guys, they sell cakes. They sell queen cakes as well, which is a little bit smaller than a king cake, but they have all types of cinnamon rolls and pastries. So definitely check them out for your sweet tooth fix. But here we are about to eat these glazed beignets, guys. Oh my goodness. We're at Antoine's Bakery, about to try to glaze me. Yeah. Mm. Crispy, buttery, glazing. Goodness, it's delicious. Gotta check this out. Oh, they're good. Mm-hmm. Mm, really good. It's flaky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The wind was a little strong, so we brought those beignets into the car to finish up. Like it was how much was three dollars and 26 cents yeah it's like made like the way like a almost like a croissant would be made but you i don't even want to compare it to a donut mm -mm. Mm. next time we get two orders let's go you guys, these beignets were so delicious, we forgot to do our closer. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace.